journey home begins. We're currently 40,000 feet on one of Etihad's 10 Airbus A380s. If you don't know already, the A380 is my favorite aircraft for a number of different reasons, mostly because it's a smooth, quiet, beautiful ride. Airlines have done a lot with their A380s. Emirates first came out with showers that kind of revolutionized first class. Etihad upped the game with this apartment. There is a single aisle through this front portion of the upper deck. So there's a 1-1 configuration on each side. On an A380, that's crazy. There's so much room. There's a seat portion, and then this folds out into a bed. Now, there are some downsides, though, because the seat, this is as far back as it reclines. So you don't get a nice recliner if you like to watch movies. You can watch it from either a fully live flat bed or from a moderately reclined seat. Let's see the moment of truth if I can get on the Wi-Fi. No! I guess I'm just gonna have to eat, drink, and sleep my way through these 13 hours. There are two champagnes, four reds, and four whites, so let's see what we can get through. Etihad's known for its food, so there's actually a chef on board that I customize my meal, and it's a la carte dining, so you can have whatever you want, whenever you want. A la, although the one downside is there's no caviar in first class. That's only for the residence guests. Thank you. Yum. Fish on planes is really hard to do. It's usually too fishy, too salty. This melts in your mouth and then has a little bit of the crunchy herb and then a lemon zest. It's perfect. Best piece of fish I've ever had on an airplane. TPG approved. So the best way to redeem for the Etihad apartment is via American Airlines Advantage, although the partnership's really wonky. You have to call up and ask a phone agent to look up availability and they have a lot of issues. So the easiest way, even though it requires more miles, is via Etihad's own frequent flyer program, Etihad Guest. They're a transfer partner of both American Express and City. So it's about 125,000 miles one way for this flight, which isn't so bad considering it's an $8,000 ticket. And a lot of carriers charge more than that for business class. If you're a baller and want to purchase this, I highly recommend putting it on your Amex Platinum card because you earn five points per dollar on all airfare. I value Amex points at almost two cents a piece. That's basically like getting a 10% rebate for buying airfare. I put all of my airfare on the Amex Platinum. It looks like Christmas. As a date. That garlic smells good. The lounge and grill, you can pick your meat, how you want it cooked, add in some sides, and they even have steak free. That is one thing that can be done really well on an airplane, a freshly baked cookie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. The verdict is in. My first time flying the Etihad apartment, and it was a fantastic experience. Not perfect, but really, really nice. Highs are amazing space. I've never had so much space in a first class cabin. The service was impeccable. The food was delicious. And even though the seat doesn't really recline that much, the bed was super, super comfortable. The lounge in Abu Dhabi was spectacular. There are a couple downsides. The Wi-Fi didn't work on this flight. They don't serve caviar, which is one of my personal favorites. I love caviar. But overall, it was a really solid experience. Give me caviar. <laughs> First world problems.